Welcome to the former Dan Romano show. But now, <laughs> now it is turned over twerned. to one. Turned. Turned. What did I say? Turned. Turned. It is turned over to it one of the greatest though. guys. Can, can, I, can I do a little something? <laughs> a little something. Now I am given the, the, uh, the, what's the, what's that reins? word? The reins. I'm giving you a fucking reins to over to this man right here who is probably one of the nicest guys in this business. <laughs> you do <throw> it wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one of the sweetest looking that. guys, a guy who works hard. You a know, guy. Oh, time out, I, time out. Oh, hold on, hold this on. This is coming from a guy that does a four minute intro on himself. <laughs> four minutes intro. <laughs> I and a half if you want 30 to seconds was good, but you went four fucking minutes. So and that's it, you're done. My name is J.C. Capone. And oh, this, that's, is that what you are, J.C. Capone? This is Dan Romano and my dear friend that I've only known for a few days who wears more jewelry, lights up the scoreboards when he walks into a place. Key Fitz. Keith hey, Fitz, everybody. Yes, Keith Fitz. Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, he's right here. All right, cool. Hey, everybody! Keith uh, Fitz is a great guy, and he is also having a great comedy night, right? Real yes. Real quick, day, uh, April. April 2nd. We're April doing 2nd. It. You can see me, J.C. Capone's going to be there, legendary comedian Keith Fitz. And Keith Fitz, not only is it going to be a comedy night, it's a fundraiser for... It's a fundraiser for the Talbot House, which is for, it's a, for uh, people who are uh, recovering from substance abuse. And we're I, also having a psychic night, too. There's going to be six or seven psychics to, uh, on that night, too. You think a psychic could tell him anything? Um, he might be able to tell him something. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, you know, I think his, I think his uh, future would be shaky. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> watch yourself, I'm looking to get myself thrown out of this one. <laughs> My own show, that is. <laughs> you, you, you sure you want the key here, right? You sure? Everything that he's got on turns into a knife, by the way. But don't fuck with this <laughs> Is it his claws? Jesus Christ. Key, how do we get tickets to go to today to event really quick? I'm going to say you, call, you can call and make reservations. You do not have to pay for reservations up front because we're only asking for donations at the show. $25 the, the, plus. The, <laughs> the, the, uh, the phone number for the, the place give, the is 631-600-3434. And the name of the club is called Whiskey Neat. It's in Patchogue. 601 it's no six three one six three one six zero zero six zero zero three four three four three four three four. You got that? Yes, I, I got it. You said it four times. I want people to know because I want them to show up. And not stuff. only is J C Capone going to be there, but there's going to be a lot of great comedians that are going to be there. Dan Romano and J C are going to be hosting the damn event. I think it's going to be an amazing thing. I got you hosting, whether you like it or not. No, I thought you were Ray Romano. <laughs> How wrong was I? I thought you were taller, but you know we, we can't have everything. Jeez, what are you laughing about? You're Sicilian. <laughs> That's right. It's By so. the time you're done with that cigar, you, all the fucking leaf's gonna be out. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's packing it. <laughs> I don't know. So, I'm like, is that cigar ever gonna hit your mouth? No. Is it ever gonna hit your mouth? Definitely. Why why do you keep an unlit cigar in, in your hand? Wanna know why? Yeah. Is it you quit smoking? Shake. What? It keeps my shaking now. Oh, all right. Uh, I just shut you down. Now you wanted to say a joke, but you talk about handicap right away. It goes. No, down. no, uh, no. He was like, uh, uh, all right. <laughs> you were gonna say yeah. something stupid, guys. Uh, no, next, but. next week I'm gonna put a magic marker <laughs> in his hand and put it and aim it right at Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably have a dick on my face by the time he's done with the marker. <laughs> <laughs> you already got a dick on your face. <laughs> my nose, you and fuckhead. That's, that's an old Tuesday for you, Dan. And if he was a dick, you'd be in his mouth by now. Oh, shit. No wonder he's smiling. <laughs> and by the way, this show is brought to you by Dino Luzzi Energy Drink, the best energy drink on the market today. When I tell you to buy it, go to your local candy store, drug store, uh, pot store. They were in every place you could think of. Dino Luzzi Energy Drink, one of the best, highest quality energy, energy drinks on the market. Made with made with all B vitamins and also best part about it, it's made in Italy. <laughs> Shaking not stirred, man. Shaking not stirred. Open that one up, huh? <laughs> Stand back, <laughs> no, 
Look at that. There's a trick. You can shake it. He got lucky. I know. Salud. Dino lose the energy drink. Yo, you want to know what I bought last week? What would you buy last week? You want to know what I bought? Oh, no, what would you buy? I got to go back and forth. Like yeah, you, well, you're in the middle. Yeah, I should have sat over there. Might as well. Yeah, no problem. All right. Yeah. I bought a bidet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Bidet. Oh, that thing that sprinkles the water in your ass. I always thought that thing was a water fountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this guy's it, 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 you, you sit on it and it fucking like sprinkles like fucking jets of water in your asshole. It's amazing. It's yeah. Cures your fucking headaches. This guy's not stupid. He's just not smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you use it for? Well, clean my teeth in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not after I just clean my ass. <laughs> oh, but not. You're in my toilet bowl in the morning? Huh? You're in my toilet bowl in the morning? It's a bad with Thursdays. Thursdays, Thursdays. Did you come over your toilet bowl? Oh, no. <laughs> but anyway. Faison, what have you been doing this weekend? How, no, how was your week going? I'm going to tell you going? about this thing. Okay. I got There's the more. cheap one with cold water only. So when you spit in your ass at 3 o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. uh, you don't need espresso, you don't need Dino's. <laughs> 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 they shrivel up like two long. <laughs> I was like, Figaro. <laughs> he, he calls me at that time. And fucking, I don't need espresso. I got to Key, have you ever had the pleasure of getting a phone call from him at like 3 in the morning? <laughs> Not yet. I'm sure that's coming. <laughs> he, 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 he is the absolute fucking best to keep when, when you're on the phone. Like, I could be, this is like a normal conversation with him. Listen, I'm really fucking tired. It's three in the morning. I made 350 Daddy, wait, pies. Wait, 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 wait one second. And you see him fucking disappear. <laughs> and he'll disappear for five, 10, Don't 15, away, 20 fucking minutes. You see him going around with the fucking thing. Walking wait, around. Wait, don't go nowhere. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Day, no, I'm day, so day, tired. day, day. What, 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 JC? Wanted to make sure you were there. Thanks, JC. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, brother. He's like, I worked all day. I'm tired. You, you, you know, you know, I gotta wake up in four hours, Jay. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> give, give me a minute. I'll be right back. He fucking. I don't know where the fuck he goes. The basement's like a fucking straightaway, but he goes off the camera somehow. It's like you play hide and seek with my ace. I don't know where the fuck you are in that room. I hate being alone all night. Man. I I don't mind being with you, but goddamn. You fall asleep after five. Oh, oh, I, I fall asleep I after mean, four fucking hours with you on the phone. <laughs> I made pizza all day today. I gotta go. Anyway, I'm like I have Key on the other fucking line. Oh, he's sleeping at night. And then and then I, and then I have Teresa on the other fucking line. I, I can't understand. <laughs> it's like so, a fucking four way. So tonight, tonight. He one. wishes it was a four way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wouldn't walk straight after I was done. <laughs> Key, you want to change spots? <laughs> I told you I'll put your ass in the middle. <laughs> I ain't putting my ass nowhere, boy. Uh, anyway. Listen, for the right amount of money. No, but look, I, I got to ask you as an yeah, actor. As, yeah. a, as an actor, I got to ask you the question. Okay. I got to ask you. What price would it take? Nothing. Well, I should, oh, you do it for free? Yeah. You sure about that one? No, 100. You don't even know the fucking question. Well, coming from you, I already imagined. <laughs> what price would they have to give you to do have a, lo have a love scene with a man? Why does it got to be with a man? Oh, be oh, because we live in a fucking generation now where that somehow that became acceptable. But if somebody... Let me ask you, something. let me ask you, before you say anything, yeah. if, if fucking... What's his name? The the rich guy. Koskazi. If Koskazi came over here, I can't pronounce the fucking name. He come over here and he says, He's close. Jay, I want to fucking, I want to give you this fucking role. But in the role, you got to see put a man. I do. What price would that have to be, that check? Free. <laughs> free? Free. Why? Why free? Why, why not? Why you, you work for free? When the fuck well, you work for free? What you got to be ignorant for? Huh? What you got to be ignorant for? Some people like men, men like men, girls like girls, boys like men, boys like girls. That's the way the world is. So you would do it for free. I you would, you, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't even want fucking pay. No, it would expand my horizon as an actor. <laughs> <laughs> so so it expands one part of you. Free, you me. <laughs> well, right now, right now, I'm studying for a role as a Parkinson's patient. <laughs> I'm just acting. The I fuck think up, you got it down pretty fuck, good. The, <laughs> fuck up, the, the fucked up thing is he failed the test. You know what? I, I thought I liked this guy. 
They, they actually said, JC, I'm sorry, you did not get the role. You know, tonight, tonight. You're such a bad actor, they said you didn't get the role. I'm a bad actor? No, I'm joking with you. I'm not even an actor. No, you're a fucking pro. Pro. Pro, pro balloon. <laughs> but, uh, JC is a fucking amazing actor. He didn't I, I, even I, watch my movie, the cop <laughs> I, I caught the. Bu- I, I saw you in something. He's so broke, you don't even want to get three ninety nine for that. Listen, two ninety nine. You told me it was a fucking ninety nine cents. <laughs> he, he says to me, "Yo, you were great in that movie. What was the name?" I said, "Yeah, so you don't even know the name, no." But you were great in it. Go fuck you. <laughs> you see, when I lie about when I lie about JC, I lie up. I lie up about him, you know. Yeah. No, but I saw you in the other thing. You were fucking amazing. I didn't. I don't know if the butts about. The first thing or the second thing. The second thing. Yeah. What about you? Did you watch the first thing? I watched only one thing. I don't know about the second thing. You know only one thing. All right. <laughs> yeah, JC Capone, everybody. Yeah, you see this jewelry, by the way. This is surgical steel. Everything he's wearing doesn't tarnish. Every doesn't turn. Yeah, you know, he goes to the airport. It takes him a half an hour. Just <laughs> oh, let me take this off. <laughs> Bro, you think you got enough jewelry on? <laughs> no, I need more actually. By the way, there are days that I actually wear if rings you want on everything. I'll show you the Eiffel Tower. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's very pointy and sharp, and you know where that's going? Right up your ass. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! This so guy. So anyway, tonight was Clash of the Community. Tonight, we were supposed to be blessed. We're, we're very happy that we have Keith Fitz, of course. No, but you said we were supposed to be blessed. We were supposed to have a gentleman named Arnie Price. Why are you saying this fucking name for? You know what? The because. Guy didn't show up. Why are you giving You know what? Because the comedy. Arnie movie, Price, you lose. Well, Arnie, we were going to bless you today with something hey, very uh, nice. We wish on. you would have came. Hold on. We, we're going to definitely wish hey, hey, Keith Fitz the championship. Can you shut off his mic for a second? Gonna, <laughs> uh, Keith Fitz. Yes. I you want to hold, hold his hand? I wouldn't raise my hand if I was you because you wouldn't touch his face. <laughs> Keith Fitz is a winner of round one. Woo! All right. And I didn't have to do shit. <laughs> Arnie Price, you Kinda lose. Kind of like some of the shows he's been doing. That's right. <laughs> Arnie Price, you lose. Keith Fitz is a winner. Well, we'd like to announce also that Keith Fitz is the first comedian that we are going to be welcoming when we first do our first comedy night of Puff, Puff, Laugh. We'll be making that in a very shortly, couple of couple of months, I would assume. But I'm very, very happy to uh, to announce that Keith Fitz will be the first comedian on that show. He's to me, person. that's a big blessing because yes. I think when we start this off, what me and JC are putting together, I think the comedy world's going to absolutely love. And we are going to be doing it when time and time again. It's because, it's because we... Top we, secret? So stop stuff. fucking talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to learn That's the rules again. Imagine getting picked up with this guy. <laughs> yeah. That's all the information we can tell you about it, but then there's more. <laughs> Tune in. Tune in. I don't know about you, Henry. You might fold on the question. <laughs> no, I don't fold on the... Pr- I got you on my fucking side. I fold. Uh, there you go. You never fold. No, no, hey, no. Hey, I see you got a mandolin over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Can you bring it over here? Oh, absolutely. You know, I used to play a quarter or two back in the day. He got the guitar with him? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, Is it an expensive guitar? No. You can't smash it. You know what my favorite no. band does? They smash the guitars at the end. I would never smash yours, trust me. Maybe just once. <laughs> Everybody, Keith Fitz and his guitar. Woo! Give, me, give him a couple seconds. You got to get it tuned. Good. Yeah, let me tune this up. Okay, that's good. <laughs> All right. Hold on. I just want to give you the rules of the contest. Just because you won by default doesn't mean you're an automatic winner. If you suck, I down the shit out of you and you get thrown out the door. I was told if I sucked, I would get the win. I'd win. <laughs> you're talking about bribing that judge right over here. Right, you, you know me. what? I give up. I fucking give up. Please, please take it away. On that note... <laughs> I should have stayed home and watched porn. All right, anyway. <laughs> you probably like that shit, too. Huh? Right, so. Guys and guys, whatever, whatever's into it, but please continue. You got something against guys on a guys. horse. <laughs> Guy, guys in a bowl. I don't know. Johnny was a drug mule. 
smuggled in 20 kilos of coke. Not sure how he did it. How he got that much up his ass. All right. <laughs> I like this guy. You got five more minutes to make me wet. All right. Five more minutes? Oh, give me a shit. I don't have that much time. Hey, Sean, give me a five minute on this guy. You got a five minute comedy set. Go ahead, take it away. In the lovely city of Manhattan, by the way. That's right. Ahead, Performing right in front of the. Key, okay, really quick. How long are you doing comedy? I've been doing comedy for 21 years. 21 this years. This coming. Were you born into comedy or you just like fell into it? Or you I just... fell into it because it was a long, a long story short, I was a musician before this. I played in many bands. My last band, I put out an album nationally. We were selling this, the album na- internationally. Uh, I, we were in the top 10 on the, on the, um, the well, radio well, charts. Let me guess. You played the guitar. Actually, I either played guitar or sang, depending on which one it was. Yeah, right. This is the uh, actually it took comedy for me to mm-hmm. learn to do comedy, uh, sing and play guitar together, because I didn't do either. I didn't do them both in whatever band I was in. But my last band, well, my last band was falling apart, and it was only me and another uh, another player. The last band was falling apart. That was the name. Of it? Yeah, no, it was called <laughs> NME. It was that was the name of the band? NME. The album was called Prison Cell Philosophy. It's still on Spotify and iTunes. What was it called? N M E. It was the, just the three letters, you know, pronounced it enemy. And uh, you, you, you'll, you'll forget later, but go ahead. <laughs> uh, I was like I said, I was between uh, bands at the time because uh, one of my band members got very sick. Hey, he King, moved down to Vegas. King. I love you, but stop the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a band. He's uh, trying to kill a minute. <laughs> right. Go ahead, King. Shoot it. All right. Shoot your load. Make sure you drink some Dino's before Here you go. Start. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do, go. I'll do a God. song for you. Another Shoot song out. for you. My wife and I were married for a long time, and on our 10th year anniversary, she asked me to write her a love song. I did. This is the song I'd like to play for you. I just need the light guy to dim the lighting so I can get the perfect mood lighting. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> song goes something like this. Roses are red, violets are blue. With Greece, I love you. Is that what you said to me? I'm at home completely wasted out of work and down. There's my wife, she won't stop nagging, she won't shut her mouth. I don't know what she's saying, it's all blah, 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 blah. If she don't shut her trap, I'll stick an old sock in her mouth. Go she's breaking my balls, 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 breaking my balls. A lot of married people out here, I see. There's my wife, she won't stop crying, she won't shut her trap. Just cause I came from the strip club and somehow caught the clap. I don't know what she's saying, I don't have a clue. If I did, I would be singing back in prostitutes. Cause she's breaking my balls, breaking my balls, breaking my balls, breaking my balls. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> kind of like ACDC. <laughs> yeah. That was a good song. That was a, I think you might have beat on it. I think you were breaking my balls, breaking my balls, <laughs> breaking my balls. I guess I like this. Yeah, do you have another one? Sure. You know what? I'll do one more for you guys. Let me you answer know? your question. Yeah. Is all your comedy with the guitar? No. No, I do I do stand up and then I do the guitar at the end. I like the guitar. You can even do sit down. Well, That's right. <laughs> You're gonna have a sit down with me? Sure, why not? What the hell? All right, there you go. All right, uh, you know yeah. what? Should I do my usual ending one? Yeah, no, do all the beginning right. one. All right, so what I'm going to do is this one in particular. He's asking the boss. In case uh, anyone's asking who's that voice is out, out in the open out there, it's the boss. I have I have a song that I'm working on right now, and it's just not completed yet. I I just want to try it out on you guys and see what it's uh, what you guys think about Go ahead. it. It's uh, I'm just going to play the part that I know on it and just try that part. But okay, the song is called the Crazy Cat Lady song, and it goes something like this. Show me your pussy, (laughs) cat lady. That's all I got. You guys like it? (laughs) It's a fucking lonely woman. I'll tell you right now. It's got to be a lonely woman. Hey, that guy Dave Letterman had the bald guy. I got you. (laughs) (laughs) Key, has the word special been around your life a lot? (laughs) I've been called special many times, yes. Dan Romano, not Ray Romano, and Keith Fitz, not that other guy. What was his name on the Dave Letterman show? Oh, that was uh, uh, Ed, Ed, 
Was it Ed, Ma- Ed McMahon? Yeah, Ed McMahon. He's in the right plan. <laughs> that was Johnny Carson, by the way. But it's okay. He's cool. <laughs> he used to play drums. I play guitar. I beat on you, bro. Do you? Uh, uh, I'm very good with it. My hands are down. Very cool. Yeah. Can I play your guitar? You know how to play guitar? No, excuse me. If I did, you think I'd be here right now? <laughs> You sing me a fucking love song, I'm walking off. <laughs> sing, sing me tender, tender. You're going to hit me in the fucking How head with this, I know it. Tough. I'm going to get hit in the head. How much is it something like this for? Well, this one I actually bought, I was down in Florida, and I got a couple of gigs down in Florida, I didn't have a guitar with me. So I went to a, uh, a porn shop, and I got this for 50 bucks. Oh, that's not bad at all. No, it was great. So it's my knock around. I have so many other guitars home, but I, I this is the one I take out to the, the you gigs. Know, you, you know if you put a guitar in his hand, he's going to smash it. Yeah, no, that, no, no, no. Then why do you think I gave him my knock around? <laughs> That's the best part about being a guitarist. You get to like, smash it. Right, exactly. <laughs> I want to smash you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Come after <laughs> you know he's got about 30 weapons on him right now. <laughs> Keep fits. All, all, all from his store. Where's your store again? It is at, uh, it's in uh, Retro Relics in Lake Grove at 2860 Middle Country Road. You can go see Key. You can go see like Teresa. It. Teresa makes amazing jewelry. Beautiful things she's got. Um, and I, I strongly recommend everything that they sell because the jewelry is phenomenal. It's beautiful. Doesn't, cha- doesn't, what's that word? Tarnish? Doesn't tarnish. Doesn't tarnish. Doesn't tarnish. Doesn't tarnish. The prices are, are, are unbeatable. They got a, um, They got these beautiful discs that I, I am sorry I didn't put it on today because it's a new the thing. But I, the, the lighted mirrors are absolutely beautiful. $25. Yeah. You can get anything you want printed on them. I, I think that I think, I, I think that would be a great gift to give a secretary, to give uh, your, uh, your mother at work, something like that. I think that would, the teacher, I think that would look really beautiful on a teacher's desk. It's Especially if, you, if your student, like if your kid's like on the internet. And you have to get some points. That would be the fucking way to go. You say Is number one teacher, one? like a dinner dinner, like he's like uh, you know he's falling behind, or he, like like me, I never you went to class. Dinner yeah. N- dinner internet? No, yeah. that's my first time hearing that one. Dinner internet. Yeah, dinner internet. It's a fucking Bronx term. Da-da, da-da. <laughs> like you know, like uh, you know, uh, but yeah, no thrones. Uh, like a fucking Italian when we came over to the country, we didn't want to learn fucking English Italian, because you're not stupid. No, well, I, I'm borderline, uh, you know. I like that. My teachers always said I might, I would wind up to be nothing like a fucking radio ho- oh, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, motherfucker, she was right. She was fucking right. Hey, Sean. Well, no, no, you hey, have no. the face for radio, but you're on video. <laughs> Sean, you, Sean's our producer tonight. Sean, you are the best, Sean. How are you, Sean? You were like, I, Sean, how, how many years you've been producing? A long fucking time. Two years. Two years. Two years. Two years. That, that's a long fucking time for you. That, that's um, that's, 100, that's 104 months. <laughs> 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 what? Ain't it? No. 104 weeks? <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for this world. <laughs> this is what I got stuck with. I thought it was Ray Romano, I swear to God. <laughs> I don't know how to fuck me and this when beautiful I, guy teamed when up. I walked in, I should have known and should have kept on. Well, you, uh, you know what? You already spent the gas. So where the fuck were you going to go? Of course, my legs gave out. I got no choice. <laughs> <in my mind. laughs> he, the minute he came in, we trapped him in the fucking room. He couldn't go anywhere. So no, I said, listen, you're signing this contract. You're working with me, and that's the fucking end. I'm like, you're not getting rid of me. Jesus. Where the fuck was he going to go? Get a new house, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere I go, with you especially. <laughs> and our guest tonight, Dan Romano. How quickly he jumped into That's all right. You know what? I would have did the same fucking thing. One thing about Keith Fitz, let me tell you something. I know Keith Fitz for four years now? Uh, yeah. Four years? The, the key, he's been no, a fucking... That I, I don't Can have I talk? Can I, am I allowed to say a word? Am I allowed? Am I permitted? Would you would you would you would you guys like to have a conversation while I'm having a conversation? So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you know you, you know I spit I spit in a cigar. Listen, put the cigar in your other hand. 
<laughs> move it over. He's scared I'm going to burn him in the air. If he comes any closer, I'm trying to ward him off, Sean. Sean, I want an ex where he's supposed to sit next time because he's getting a little too close. Did you use Irish spring this Police, but yes, I did. Uh, oh, like yeah, I, 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 I did. He smells I, like pizza. I got your car on. <laughs> yeah, you a pizza man? Most of the time. Oh, there you go. I'm a fucking machine. I'm a fucking machine with pizza. I'm a fucking machine. What yeah. makes you a fucking machine? Oh, I'm, I'm bionic. I'm, I'm fast. I'm good. You know, it bec- it's like a fucking, it's like a natural thing. I fucking dream of pizza. That's how fucked up life is. I retired at 50 fucking years old to Amazing. fucking, to be reintroduced to it. So I'm working for somebody. That's it's, like a fuck, it's like a backward life, you know? <laughs> His dream was to become a pizza. No, no. My, well, you know what? There's nothing wrong with being a pizza no, man. No, I want to be a bar. I, d- I, I see. I, I, w- I would let you... Hey, sh- how about you... Would listen, you, wait, wait, listen wait, wait, I think, wait, I think wait, you're wait. the one who fucking shaved me. Hey, Anthony. That's why I look like this. You got a buzz in here? No. <laughs> He's, uh, Thank God he don't. Let me have my... Make my dream come true. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're safe. <laughs> I'll take I'll pay somebody. I'll pay somebody to be there. Yeah, please be. I'll, I'll shit a brick if you fucking had a fucking blade in your hand next to my neck. Next week, I'll bring in a straight I love you. Shit. We'll have Sweeney Todd going on here. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you smoke? No. Give me a light. Okay. Who smokes? That guy smokes four packs a day. I don't have the lighter on me. Who got a lighter? I got one. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got one. You asked me for one. Hey, use Just mine. By the way, you guys are useless. What? I'm sorry. Useless I don't have a lighter. Anybody have a lighter? He's got so much fucking stainless steel on, you can spark them together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make some sparks. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't have a lighter. It's in my jacket. Huh? You tired? Of course I'm tired. Are you tired? Uh, I, well, now I'm back back working. I went back with I don't the Dino. I, I, I loved it. Do you know, know energy drink? It's a great energy drink. It's I think a it's a drink. great drink. This is the best stuff on earth. I drink it every morning to wake up. And besides, I, I, now I use the bidet. It shoots cold water. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> when he doesn't use the Dino, he uses the, what's it called, the bidet? So, so basically, you, you're a fan of cold water being sprinkled in your ass at one side. It's wake fucking up great. You want to wake up? A what? You want to wake up call at three in the that, morning? Yeah, that's what you got. Why the fuck, <laughs> why the fuck would I why wake up? Why do the Italians <laughs> singing in the bathroom? They're like, be God, that fucking water so fucking cold up there, <laughs> Yes, the show went from talking about uh, comedians now to talking about spraying cold air. Water in your ass? Is that what we're talking about? Spraying cold water in Waking up in the middle of the morning. That's a natural segue. I so don't know what you're talking about. So wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I, not that I really want to get a visual of this, but you put no. it in my fucking head. You sit there and open up your asshole and open up your butt cheeks and let the water go straight in your asshole? Is that what you're telling me you do? Key fits. <laughs> Wait, why am, I, why am I getting dragged into that is one? That, is, do, you, do you have to lift up your balls to make the water go straight in? I mean, you know, I mean I, I'm curious now because how the fuck do you get the water in your asshole? Do you just sit down and the water goes right in your fucking ass and you go like that? <laughs> Dan is looking for the visual. That's what he's he, he's asking for the visual. I'm just I'm just picturing him sitting down. And what it goes in your ass, and you like, do you fucking like lift up or something? The next thing he's gonna ask is if he opens his mouth and it's like a small, like a fountain. <laughs> that's, when, that's when you know you, 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 you that's when you know you're too fully cleansed. She loves you. Keep it the head of the one liners. Uh, if your wife laughs that funny, like your jokes. Oh, yeah. If she laughs at my jokes. Are you kidding me? And if, I get to keep my if, pants if, on if doing it. If he had one of those, she'd be over there on the fucking thing of Zogo, like on a fucking day. <laughs> No wonder when people go in your fucking house, they disappear in the bathroom for two or three hours. Now I understand. They're, they're in your bathroom shooting fucking cold water in their ass. You should keep your wife, you know why? Why? Because she laughs at everything, even if it's not funny. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How do you think I, t- I test and, out and my you, comedy materials? You, you can't find one because you're definitely not funny. Oh, <laughs> no, that's messed up. That's I'm only right. kidding. No, 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 that's good, that's good. We're like the three stooges. Oh, shit. Which one, which one are you? By the way, he's always at where does he work? At the FBI or something? <laughs> this guy writing a fucking book. I have no name and I don't even exist. You're um, a nobody. A zero. A zero. I'm under the map. You're under the zero. 
He's a fucking negative. I don't want to be found, but yet I'm on every fucking program that I can get on. <laughs> don't find me. I'll find you. So JC is not his real name. That's just his alias with uh, the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> In the witness go, protection when you, when program. When you go to the fucking post office, you're going to see JC up there somewhere. <laughs> That's right. Don't tell anyone. Listen, this, this, you see this? This is fake. This is not JC. This is, this is an imposter. Hello? He was, he was fucking cloned. Do you need help? Can I help you, sir? You look a little shaky. Are you okay? Yeah, I shake because I like it, you know? So are you sick? No. It's 94 degrees. I shake because I'm cold. Yeah, yeah. I'm promoting for the next exercise equipment. There you, go. No, no, you know what you, 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 know what you would be good at? Weights. You know what you would be shake phenomenal Shake the weight away. Yeah, here you go. You want to know what you would be phenomenal at? Fucking fishing. Because you got to fucking jiggle that wick for fucking like three hours a day. It would be automatic with you. I'm telling you, you'll be fucking, you'll be, you'll be making the worm go up and down. Dan's me? worm. Mine's more of a fucking snake. It's not more of a worm. You know what you remind me of a little bit? What? What do I remind you of? Yeah, you don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he pleads the fifth. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, he's a good guy. He's Great guy. He's a million house band. What was David Letterman? <laughs> Sean, what was David Letterman's right hand guy? Ed, uh, Ed oh, McMahon. Uh, Yo, he's cool. Ed McMahon was with Johnny Cost. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking the wrong name. Sorry. Dave Letterman was after Johnny. Dave Cost. Letterman had uh, the bald headed guy with the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> How much time we got on that clock, sir? We got about 15 minutes. We're gonna do the show right here. All right, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Well, we're gonna be doing what well, we're gonna be doing well, right here. Why do you the... take this lead in the 15 minute mark? Yeah. How about if I want to keep it, keep it, say a joke right now? You're I funny. don't know any jokes. <laughs> <laughs> he's a comedian, by the way. <laughs> so, he's, not a, he's not an on-the-spot comedian. What he's, do you call yourself, comedian? I call myself a comedian, yes. Okay, what do you call yourself? Host. I'm a host. Oh. Of the former Dan Romano show. <laughs> and I took over, and I nominated Keith. It used to, I used, to, I used to have control of the show, and now I went from control <laughs> to whatever the fuck this is. But Jay, Jay is an amazing. Look, look, he has a conversation while I'm having a conversation. It's fucking beautiful. Where are you, where are you going? I sent Keith to do an errand. He sent him to get coffee. Why, you want coffee? No, no, no. Yeah, I got Dino. Got I'm fucking high already with the Dino drink. I'm gonna be up to fucking five in the morning with this fucking thing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what happened? It's cracking a little bit. Kip. Ken Hyman, yeah. Enough shit in here, it's getting thick. <laughs> Wait, you send it to the bathroom? Maybe, no. I don't know. I, I, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, that's my man. Uh, we're, wait, uh, a. we're waiting hey. for air. I didn't know I didn't, I, I didn't. know it was gonna get that much. You're definitely not a super at a building, that's for sure. He can't even open the fucking door, right? So fucking air condition just came on out of nowhere. There you go. Key fits, you can close the door now. Oh. <laughs> Key, you did good, Key. Yeah, you did real good. I sent him out to do one task. Thank God we're heading this shit. Imagine, right? Imagine Key being the getaway guy. Key, open the door. You're faster than I'm trying, than I'm, you're... I'm trying. <laughs> Key, sit down. I'm not the getaway guy. I'm the guy that keeps everybody entertained while you're doing it. <laughs> key, key, let me ask Key. Are you you have any events coming up besides the one we just talked about? Anything else going on in the comedy world? Anything exciting going on? Um, well, any rumors out there we should know about? Well, I'm gonna be on this really cool. I got this really cool idea to yeah. do this thing called Puff Puff Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, I'm I'm I I'm gonna who, have these. Puff, I'm gonna Puff have, I, wonder, I wonder who thought of that name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, they're a model. <laughs> Puff Puff Laugh Comedy Night will be brought to you by. You you, you, you go first. Or you want me to go first? <laughs> I, I, I need to know. Will be brought to you by <laughs> blank. <laughs> the Dan Romano show. No 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 no, it was a joke. Dan Romano. Well. Hi everybody, I'm Dan Romano. <laughs> what we're gonna be doing is gonna be gonna the first puff, ever Puff Puff, puff, puff Laugh Comedy Night. We're gonna be making announcements very soon. Mind if I smoke? Go right ahead. That, that, that's the whole key to the show. What basically <laughs> happens is during the show, you 
the audience lights up. They light up whatever they want. There'll be about 10 different flavors of weed. You light up which one you, you prefer. Like weed, huh? huh? You like weed? I love weed. I, th- I think I'm a fucking weed head. To, you know, ride or, or smoke or die or something like that's probably going to be. I'll probably die with one in my mouth. <laughs> so, you know, because... It, He's not talking about weed. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fucking cocky to you. Like, you are multiple cocky to you. Wait, 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 wait. But I'm not the one dying with it in my mouth. <laughs> That's the only way it'll hit my mouth dead. It's dead. Anyway, key, oh, wait a minute. This ain't the fucking damn robot of roast again. He fucked me up on my roast. Remember the roast? Yes, I remember that yeah, roast. Yeah, yeah, I remember everything you, you said. I and I still keep him. He wants me to roast. He roasted my. He roasted me like he you says, wouldn't Yo, fucking Jay, believe. You want to roast me? I, wh- where do I get a copy of the fucking thing? I, I'm dying to find it. Uh, what isn't it on uh, well, YouTube on somewhere? The, I can't find look it. Look on your intro. It's about four minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures of Dan everywhere you look. For four I, listen, I didn't make the intro. That was the state. That was that station. I, I had no fucking choice. Yeah. That's the. That is the longest intro I've ever seen In anybody any show. on any show. And you loved. Uh, I I, would, I, lo- I loved it. I loved it. They, all those stars to hang out with them was was was, was fucking worth its weight and go. All right. You know I'm allowed. I'm fucking allowed. You know. You want to hear a funny story? Yes, I'd like to hear a funny story. Please tell us. Oh, you're saying you you asked me to to hear one, not to say one. No, I didn't say. <laughs> yeah, you can say well, it. let's see. Let's see. Uh, I think a, my a funny story would be. Yeah, uh, funny story. I started Maybe on the Dan Romano show two, three funny. years ago. <laughs> and now you And that's it. That's show. funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are my first were you on my first episode? No, I wasn't. Are you sure? I am sure. Yeah. I know we were still on the Village Connection at that time and then you moved to another one. Uh, the, one of the, the best stations we did was if I may, until this one. It was Gus Radio. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing the show at Gus Radio because we had so Guess much. Guess what? Option. They didn't enjoy you because they kicked you out. They ki- that's fine. They did kick me out. They they all oh, they uh. We should get back on Gus Radio. Well, if they, they want. Take my Dan Romano back, please. I'll give him. Well, we were on Gus Radio. <laughs> one of the best things that we did, we got we got to fuck I'll around with kids. hundreds of comedians, which was fucking <laughs> awesome. We got to hang out with and fuck around with hundreds of comedians that came on right from the stage, right into my show. And what what have we had on my show? We've had naked women come on the show. This is true. <coughs> We've had uh, Billy Guy get his feet eaten out on the show, which you couldn't fucking do in a million years. We found a woman to do it. I'm glad I missed that one. <laughs> we had Louis C.K. put his fucking body against the window of the Dan Romano show with a half-naked girl on the show. Yeah. And went up, do you know who Louis C.K. is? Is that how you need to get views by naked women? No, they Are just. Are you de- fucking? I have naked never, women? I have never, yeah. ever, ever, ever told See, a woman. Fitz gets I have, and fun. I'll vouch for this. I have never tell, told a woman to take off any piece of clothing on, ever on my show. I told them. They just felt obligated to fucking do it, and I never stopped it. I never said, "Hey, you, put your fucking panties back on." Until you know, I did wanted- it, and then he, then he told me to put my panties back on. <laughs> yeah. Key, key, key was automatic. <laughs> I was like, "Whoop! Here we go." <laughs> Like but a is, porn but scene. It is, but it is true, I swear to God. This honest to God truth. When we were on, when we did the Mark, Mark the Animal Mendoza from Twisted Sister, yes. opened up the Dan, Roma, the Dan Romano show, a rated R comedy night with the most saddest fucking story in the world about when he was first playing with the band, his first play, his father was passing on as he was on stage. He's a good guy. He's a great guy. Mark Mendoza is one of the most nicest fucking people in the world. And he told us that. And I'm like, how the fuck do I go to a rated R show when I'm hearing this fucking story that on while he's going on stage, he found out his father passed on. And he played one of the most best of performances of his life through his father. I thought that was fucking amazing. You know what I would have did? What? I would have left this. Uh, I My think father's dying. Hold on. Let me no, but no, you should. Right? No, but that's all right. Hey, listen, some people are different. But, you know, his father, but I think his father told him, you know, uh, do the show because, uh, you know, there's, right. there's uh, you know, 50,000 people you. waiting for him to, to play the show. And it, it, show's I think canceled. My father's passing. That's what I would have done. Not even to be funny. Well, everybody's different. Everybody shows well, their emotions. We are definitely different. Yeah. 
Right? Well, I don't say that I would have done anything. You know, I don't know. I, I, hey, who knows? You, you know, I, I, to, to you have five like, fans screaming you're staying the whole fucking yeah. They got to throw you out with a fork. Well, oh, yeah, it would be here. But uh, I give Mark Mendoza a lot of credit for everything. And I thank, I thank Mark Mendoza and Frankie Keith D. Keith Fitz is the winner by default. <laughs> Brought to you by Dino Luzzi. <laughs> oh, you got to talk about the pizzeria. What about it? How great the pizzeria is. Oh. Uh, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. This, hold on one second. By Let's. the way, that's the best pizza I've ever had. Oh, thank you. This one right here, come as a gun. Next time I'm on set, I'm going to bring them pizzas. Tell them if they want to sponsor us, they can bring the pizza here. I'll definitely eat. There you go. Well, also, I got to give a plug into I got to give a plug into Cousins Pizza on East Tremont Avenue. Thank you very much for being a sponsor of the show. The best pizza around. 3579 East Tremont Avenue right here in the Bronx. Best pizza. I've got you <laughs> I spit in a saloon. He's saying they're the best pizza around. Well, uh, but let me finish the plug, and then you can then you can put the interviews. Okay. Good. You can put the reviews. We got five more minutes. Hurry up. All right. Um. Uh. Right. Right here on East Tremont Avenue in the Bronx, seven one eight four three one zero zero five five. Great catering. One of the best chicken scarpiello dinners you'll ever have. Go there. Tell them Dan Romano, uh, and JC sent you down, and uh, and even Keith Fitz. Since he's taking over my position over Everything, here. Everything, listen. I thought Teresa would be the one, but hey, if it's going to be somebody. Mention my name and you get charged double. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mention my name and they'll put it on Dan Romano's page. Oh, there no, you go. No, no. Free pies or anybody that mentions Mink, I, I'm, I'm broke. Really broke. All right. I'd but like guys, we're very honored to be here. Great show we had tonight, Keith Fitz. I want to thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. This guy it. drove an hour and ten minutes to see me. That's right. Just to see him. And Keith Fitz is the winner of the tournament. Keith Fitz, you will be advancing. Next week, we will have two different comedians on the show. And, uh, and what's going to lose. And what? Arnie Price and <coughs> Arnie Price, I'm sorry. You, you lose by default. The Anybody who prize, does the show. You know what first prize is? No, what is first prize? You want to know what first prize is? Is it to use we the bidet? We want to know, but I wasn't <laughs> aware. <laughs> I'm so, saying right now we're going to put up 500 for the first prize. Oh, God. Wow. And that's you're, that's you're, awesome. You're, you're in the lead right now, so keep it going. <laughs> Maybe, hey, you know why? $500 you know, going you know, to the winner. You know why he doesn't want, nobody wants to go up against him? What? Because he's got knives everywhere you That's fucking right. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, I'll right shake now, a bitch. One thing I got, listen, one, the biggest hey, mistake, Jay, really quick, the biggest mistake you made is didn't get a fucking sponsorship for that fucking water thing that sprays fucking in people's ass. Because right now there's about 40 people going, should I buy one? Should, where where buy, the fuck do I go? Buy one. Where would you fun. buy something that shoots water in your ass, Jay, besides a water gun? What? Please tell us. Where do you go look? What do you look for on fucking the internet? Water in my asshole? What do you look for? Look what under Heine Fountains. <laughs> Heine That's your Heine Fountains. Heine yes. Fountains. Located <laughs> Soon you're going to see JC's name on a fucking thing that shoots water in your ass. And Jay's going to do one of those infra commercials going, look what I do all fucking day. No, you're going to see my face. <laughs> Yeah, I can see you. I can see you with a with, with, with a fucking joint in your mouth, smoking it out with the water sprinkling your ass. Yeah, but his would do this. That way he gets the whole way. We are talking about JC's asshole right now. Yes, we are. And I never thought in a million years that he would actually let us talk about his asshole. But I'm glad. I'm glad you broken in. Uh, Welcome to the club, JC. All right. All right. Great show, everybody. Jay, you were fucking awesome. Keith, you're fucking amazing. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next week. You want to say anything before we go? Because yeah. yeah, this is the he, most I got out of it today, yeah, but please. If he keeps winning by default, you do not win the grand prize. Yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> you got to earn that shit, motherfucker. I think, so what I do think, you guys have to come in and challenge? Wait, wait, wait. I, I, got, I got a quick thing. Somebody oh slashed my tires. I couldn't make it. I Key, you know what you got about that? Not I. Ray Romano, if you want to make a quick 500, come on down. I don't think Ray Romano would win. Wow, he Not against Keith Fitz. I, I don't know what to say. I'm embarrassed. My hair turned red. <laughs> All right, we're out of here, everybody. Good night, everybody. Just in tight. <laughs>